Hey guys, it's Southpaw. Today we're going to be looking at how to install mods in Arma 3. It's pretty simple, there's just a few steps and I think you guys will be able to catch on pretty fast. Right now I'm on the snowy island of Thirsk. It's a really beautiful map. Uh, but just to show you a few mods that I have installed right now, I have the NATO SF and Spetsnaz weapon pack installed along with the uh, USMC uniforms. So I'm wearing a winter arctic marpat and carrying a M240 Bravo. It's really nice. One of my favorite machine guns. Um, but let's go ahead and hop over to the desktop and we'll get started. Alright guys, so before we do anything, we need to download a mod organizer, or a mod, basically a launcher, that will bypass Steam, and it will make it so that you don't have to type in the run parameters by yourself, it will automatically do it for you. Um, the best game launcher for Arma 3 that I've found is called Arma 3 Sync. So, um, go ahead and open up Google and type in Arma 3 Sync, and it should be the first one on the list at Armaholic click on that and you'll scroll down to the bottom also make sure that you have Java Runtime Environment 7 most most of you should um, but download from FTP number one if this doesn't work you can download from FTP number two but I already have it downloaded so let's go into my downloads folder and you see Arma 3 sync so we'll just double click on that and run it Now again, this installer makes it much more simpler to uh, add mods and uh, group them in certain folders and stuff like that. And just click finish. Very simple stuff. Now it will open and it will ask you to please set Arma 3 executable location. So click select and this will bring you into your Arma 3 directory. It should look about like this. Then click on Arma 3, and click Open, then press OK, and it should be blank right here if you don't if you don't have any mods in there. So now that we have that open, uh, you need to know how to get to the Arma 3 directory. Uh, the best way to do this is through Steam. Now, if you're on a 32-bit operating system, the directory will be in Program Files, but if you're on a 64-bit system, the directory will be through program files 86 uh, but that's kind of a long way to do it to get there I, we're gonna go through Steam um, so at the games library where it says Arma 3 just right click go to properties click on it will bring you up to this tab right here general click on the local files tab and then click browse local files this will open up your Arma 3 directory in a folder like this you'll see add-ons, battle eye Curator, DirectX, stuff like that, missions, and your Arma 3 executable. So now that we have this open and this open, we're ready to download a mod. Now, for this, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be downloading the NATO SF and Spetsnaz weapons pack by Massey. Um, almost all Arma mods you can find on Armaholic or the uh, Bohemia Interactive Studio forums. So as you can see this pack adds tons and tons of weapons with different desert, woodland, and uh, arctic variants. Or actually no, not arctic, just desert and woodland and black. And you can just scroll down to the bottom here and cl you'd click on this and I already have this downloaded also so we're gonna go to the downloads folder now most mods in Arma 3 they they come compre in a like once you download them they come in a compressed file so this happens to be in a 7-zip file but um, now to open these compressed files uh, you have to use either a uh, program like 7-zip or WinRAR they're both file arch archiver programs and they're both free easy to install uh, if you have one of those installed you just 
go to 7-zip, if you have 7-zip, and then click Extract Files. Now on WinRAR, it's going to be about the same thing. And you'd click OK. And I believe, yep, I already have it done. So you'd click OK, it would load, and it would create a folder like this. Now, the third thing we need to do is learn how the file structure works for mods. So all mods in Arma start with um, an at symbol like this, and whatever name you want. Inside this at, at folder is the add-ons. Now, at least you have to have the add-ons. Inside the add-ons folder is PBOs. These are the actual mod files. So let's say if you downloaded a mod that only came with these files, it didn't have this file hierarchy like this, you would need to copy these well first you'd have to create a folder called add-ons and then drag these in here like this so you have add-ons and then you'd have to create another folder with an at symbol and uh, the name you want and drag the add-ons folder in there so you have the at symbol then add-ons and then the files and they're PBO files by the way um, so yeah, that's that's about it. Now the last thing we do is just to simply drag the folder over. So um, let's I'm gonna unpack or re I'm gonna revert what I just did. All right. So we have the folder, we have the add-ons, and we have the PBOs. What we're gonna do now is uh, go back to the Arma 3 directory and you have this, the at symbol, just simply drag the at folder over to the Arma 3 directory and it will pop up right here on the top like that. So that's what the mods should look like when they're in your folder. Now we're going to go back to Arma 3 sync and when you click refresh it will load the mod that you just added. Now on the add-on groups box right here, click add group. You can name it whatever you want, it's just a folder that you can put your mods in for like organization and stuff like that. So just simply drag the mod over to your folder and select it. And there's some stuff you can do like uh, you can check some of these boxes if you want to have certain start startup parameters but um, as you can see this is the kind of stuff you'd have to type into Steam or your Arma 3 executable manually uh, to enable these mods, but the launcher does it for you, which is really nice. So after that's done, you're ready to go. You just click Start Game, and you are golden. Now remember one thing. If you're starting, do not start Arma 3 through uh, Steam, because if you start Arma 3 through Steam, it will not load the mods. It will load just the regular Arma 3 executable. You have to go through Arma 3 Sync and start game. But yeah, that is about it. Just remember uh, the most important thing to remember is that file structure. So in the Arma 3 directory you have the at symbol and the name you want and at the very least you need to have add-ons and after add-ons is the the main files. So these keys and stuff like this are mainly for servers so it's not really important but yeah. So it's pretty simple. It's, it's that easy. So I uh, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one.